Uh, Welcome to Monday, guys. Stunning Monday. I surprised you all on Friday and did one, but you know, I had to come back and do another one, so we'll have a twofer on Friday. Oh, they forgot to set up the comments. But I had so much fun doing the dye job on Friday. I'm going to do that similar technique with different colors. Let's go earthy today, Cindy. I think that's a good idea. We don't do that often enough. Yes. So we'll do earth tones. Well, and earth we'll tones overlap. Then it'll be, it's not going to be neutrals, right? It's more oh, heck no. Cold. There's no such thing as neutral in my book. <laughs> Bold earthy. That's what we'll call it. Bold earthy? Bold earthy. Okay. I don't know. I'm leaning towards chaos for the one that we did on. Somebody said chaos sounded like a good one like for Friday. Thing. Oh my god, that stuff turned out really good. It did. I don't either. Alrighty. Okay. okay, so I will show you what I have for yarn. I will show you what I have for yarn. I will show you what I have for yarn. Okay. Okay. So I have worsted. I have lavish lace. We might do something uh, out of the lace. So I did some uh, sock and I did the stunning superwash. Oh, I had to get a lace. lavish lace in here this time. Hi, Valera. Hi, Valera. Okay. So it's going to be like an over dyeing, layering kind of thing. So I'm going to start with a bright color first so I can layer over top of it and it tones it down some but then keeps a little bit of it as we go. So I got a little bit of this. Oh, interesting. And maybe a little there and there and there. Okay, so that's kind of an earthy color, and then let's go with this one. What are you going to put down, Tom? Oh. Let's do this. Ooh. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Peggy. So I mixed up four gallons of uh, dye. IBS. Hello. I have to say it gets a little wet. Four gallons of dye. That's a little sloppy, isn't it? Kind of looking like the kitchen my mom had when I grew up. Oh my. Oh, I like that green. Hi, Penny. Now my binder color. That's gonna bind it all together. What do you think Tom would use to bind all this stuff together? Oh. It gets a. It's like a uh, spicy mustard color that I I'm using. But it's it's changing the greens and the oranges. I like it. It is very 1970s, Polly. <laughs> oh, good, Peggy. Better each day. Her 
love this gold. Yes. And avocado. <laughs> you know, the kids of nowadays look back and think we had the coolest time in the 70s, but I look back on the 70s and I don't remember it being cool. Well, we were relatively young. That's true. We were not adults in the 70s. Okay, you want to take a picture? Are you done? You don't think I'm done? I could add more somewhere. I like it. Okay. Let's not mess with a, bur uh, a good thing. I think it's going to knit up very cool. Okay. Okay, I gotta get some of this water out of it. Harvest gold and burnt orange. Yeah, those were the colors. And you had to put avocado in it too. Yeah, the avocado appliances. And then everybody had that pale pink color in their houses. No, that was more the 80s. That oh. was Dusty Rose. That's when everybody had wood ducks in their house. And ruffly curtains. So my interpretation of nature. After I might have had a little bourbon. Not today. I still haven't done any drunk dying, have I? <laughs> you fall asleep when you drink. That's why. You can... No dying and drinking. <laughs> or I might fall asleep on the table. It's dying and napping. That's about it. I might fall into one of these gallon buckets and, and my beard turns... Uh, Burnt orange. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Be like carrot top, carrot face. <laughs> be better than the green avocado green. <laughs> Peggy said her first refrigerator was avocado when they got married in 1971. Ooh, Paulina chevron pattern. You're right. Or crochet some granny squares. Oh. And make a vest out of it if you wanted to be real 70s. <laughs> and get some bell bottoms. Which? Bell bottoms are Even in the back. 70s, I never owned a single pair of bell bottoms. I just saw some in the store. I had boot cut sale. jeans, but I never had bell bottoms. And yes, when I was a kid, I did wear pants. We had bell bottoms. The bigger the bell, the better. I was pretty young though. I wasn't cool yet when I was a kid, so I had to wear pants. Yet? That supposes you became cool later in life. Oh. You mean you would have married me even if I wasn't cool? I wasn't cool. <laughs> wasn't cool enough to know you weren't cool. We were just nerds together. Speak for yourself. says you can call it the 1970s. <laughs> that 70s yarn. <laughs> I don't want your bone, mother. Everybody wants my bone. You take it.
What, what? Yeah, I suppose if you cut six inches off, the bell bottoms were kind of gone. <laughs> <laughs> So the problem is, when I was younger, I had an older father, and he was a teenager in the 30s, and yeah, in the 30s, and so he kind of tried to dress us like he did when he was a kid, and in the 70s, and dressing in the 30s, didn't go over very well. <laughs> Let's just say. It's a big difference. I think we had a Harvest Gold refrigerator at one point when I was a kid. I'm sure we did. My mom loved those colors. That's looking cool. Yeah, I gotta add a little bit more stuff here and there. I don't want a lot of white in this stuff. I think I could get more water out of it. colors are blending yeah and you know what was interesting was with the one he did on Friday when it dried it seemed like those colors blended even more hello Carolyn hi Carolyn we'll pull our canisters yes that burped and real Tupperware yeah that stuff lasted forever I like my mom had a Tupperware party. Kool Aid once. pictures. That was some good quality stuff. That's okay, Carolyn. Everybody's a little behind, I think. Then he had. Wide, light blue and white striped, low waist bell bottoms. Cool, <laughs> Penny. <laughs> I had the 1970s windbreaker. You remember those? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that People like nowadays wear security and like sporting events. <laughs> they were all the rage back in the 70s. Yeah. Seems like there would be one or two things that were all the rage. I don't see that now as much. I did see an article today and I hadn't heard anything about this because I'm, you know, out of touch. About the, the permanent um, bracelets that people are having welded on. And there's a place in New York City that's doing it and they're doing like, what they say, 75 to 100 a day? I don't think I could do that. I, I mess with too much electrical stuff. Oh, yeah, maybe. Well, I had a, <laughs> I had a, ten, a diamond tennis bracelet back in the day when everybody did that I didn't take off for a very long time. So I can see, but they said that's the new thing to get jewelry. You can cut it off. It just doesn't have a clasp. But they were talking about people were doing it with, you know, mothers and daughters and Stuff. You just pick out your gold chain and then they spot weld it onto your wrist. Well, I thought in the 90s when everybody started getting when everybody started getting tattoos that it wasn't going to last. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, it used to only be rough guys and sailors. <laughs> like my old man. He had like dragons on his arms. But they didn't have sleeves. And they didn't have them on their faces. That's a commitment, man. Have something tattooed on your face. Oh, wow. Carolyn said to tell you there's a company making blue crab flavored whiskey to try and combat the overpopulation of blue crabs. What? What? I didn't realize there was an overpopulation. Huh. That sounds kind of nasty. Crab flavored whiskey? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I'd even try that. <laughs> that just sounds gross. <laughs> no different. I'm trying to make potato chip flavors out of everything. Oh, my God. I'll have to look that up, Carolyn. That sounds interesting. It's on NPR, she said. Um, I know somebody made an Old Bay flavored vodka. Which I thought sounded kind of interesting. I think that's going to blend really well with like pops of color in it. And you can tell that I didn't use a regular red, I mean a regular orange is a red orange mm. yeah it's a burnt orange <laughs> if you're going to be true to the 70s it's like a brady bunch partridge family crossover that song go about a man named Brady? <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I like Brady Bunch. What was my favorite episode? Jan Breaking Her Nose by Peter throwing a ball at her. Pork chops and applesauce. Or was it the one with <laughs> with a Don Drysdale on it? That was, I, I, think, I think that was my favorite. Oh, from the Brady Bunch? Yeah. It's a little warm in here today. It's really humid outside. I ran out to run home at about one o'clock and it was just miserable after that rain this morning. But we can't complain. It's only 81 degrees here. It's not 108 like Texas is getting. I wonder if Texas has heat days like we have snow days. They really should. Not safe to go out of the house. Stay home. Well, you can get sunstroke. Well, if it's 108, which I don't know if that was today. I know later in the week it's supposed to get up. It's going to be over 100 every day, though. But if it's that warm out. Can you imagine what your car gets? They don't want your phone. Dick. Everybody wants my ball. You go get it. Did you ever read my email or Facebook message about the mobile yarn truck? Um, I think you were one of the ones, Penny, that sent us the thing about uh, yarn over truck out of California. And yeah, we're aware of them. We've done the shows with them and stuff. I'm still working on that idea. Oh, I don't want this. I got like a whole bunch of things happening at once right now. No, 
You go. But I'm still working on it, and I want to get it out so I can come out and see everybody. Yeah, right now we're shooting for a, a fall thing with that. Because I got something else going on right now, too. Which we might talk about that on Friday if you come enjoy. That looks really cool. I like how it got real muddy. Okay, I think I'm done. I like it. It's very swampy. I think this is going to die or uh, knit up really cool. It's kind of, um, yeah, cool. I like it. So you'll have to come back on Friday and see it and the other one, the one that we did last Friday. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, look. Now you can tell what I did today. Yuck. All right. Have a great week. Bye, everybody. Bye.